Not a lot of humor, though, in that Wolves game when they got down by 22 points tonight on the road in Brooklyn. But then heart, desire, and pure scrappiness kick in, and the Wolves go on a massive run, pick it up in the fourth quarter. The Wolves rebound. down eight. Come Chase Bunger finds a driving Andre Kirilenko, who slams it home. Kirilenko, 16 points, 10 rebounds on the night later in the quarter. Tie game. Berea ahead to Nikola Pekovic. Strong layup. He leads the way with 21. Wolves take the lead and then late cross to Budinger who knocks down the three and the Wolves seal it. 107-96, their biggest comeback in a game in 14 years. Minnesota back in action Wednesday when they host Orlando. Golden Gopher men on the court tonight as well in another exhibition game. This one against Southwest Baptist. First half, Gophers on the move. Andre Hollins finds Rodney Williams cutting to the basket. Two-handed flush there and the Gophers obliterate the Bearcats tonight. They are back at Williams Arena to host American University on Friday. Still licking their wounds from that Seattle game. The most notable wound, Percy Harvin, who gets an MRI on his ankle today and finds out it's sprained. He's day to day, but is walking on crutches. And by the way, what was up with the star wide receiver yelling at his head coach on the sidelines yesterday? Clearly frustrated by a stalled out red zone offensive attack, he let Leslie Frazier have it. One of the more significant signs we've seen this year of off the field unraveling. He just wants to win, and you know we 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 were struggling with some things, and um, you know he had frustration along with a, a lot of us. It was just in in, in heat of moment. Uh, you know we got three points. Um, I think this the last two three weeks I've been wanting to get seven, um, and if we didn't get seven, I thought I thought we could have. Um, so it was just a frustrating uh, point um, in, the, in the heat of the battle. Um, but it was nothing more than that. What a weekend for the Stillwater Boys cross country team. They continue to dominate as one of the best programs in the state. Wade Hall winning the Boys 2A championship in Northfield over the weekend. The senior is our athlete of the week. Oh, it feels great. I've always, always dreamt of it when I was growing up running, seeing guys like Zutz and stuff win it, hoping I could be that someday. And, you know, just, just kept going at it, picked myself up after bad races and stick with it, see what happens. And, Sure paid off. Going up the hill, I was I was about second. Clecker was pushing up the hill. And I just wanted to stay with them. I didn't want to make any major moves yet. And then when we got on the flats, I mean you can kind of you feel the finish line coming up and that's where I really drove. This was all about just kind of maintaining the first mile or two and making sure I'm in the lead pack and uh, really turning it on after with like a half mile to go. Just if I'm still in the lead, I'm just gonna just gonna go gutsy all the way, half last half mile. That pretty much my plan. The ponies wow. are amazing, I tell you what, you know that. And and congratulations also to Maria Hauger of Shakopee. Four in a row. Yeah, the female winner. Pretty there. impressive. Cool. All right, thanks, thanks Bert. We'll be right back.